Yeah, the food and water distribution still going on at sites like Forest Hill here, where there are neighborhoods in and around here that are still dealing with low water pressure problems. The city sampling process also getting underway today, but the city keeping that under close wraps, admitting that they are concerned about the safety of their inspectors and the testing process. Another day of long lines for Jackson residents hoping to get bottled water and water for flushing, still worried about what is finally coming through their pipes at home. Well, actually, I think it's gonna, they're, they're getting together. I trust Dr. Williams. I think they're getting together. So you don't trust the water coming out of your pocket? Not right now. No, well, really, I've been uh, using a uh, bottled water for a long time. The city of Jackson testing water at 120 sites across the city, but trying to keep those inspectors out of public view because of the pressure felt by a city water outage approaching one month for some residents. You know, we take that very serious, the sampling part. Uh, we want to make sure that our lab techs are in a safe environment. We also want to make sure that the areas that they're sampling are protected. More than 43,000 water connections still suffering problems. The city says it has repaired 83 water main breaks in the wake of the big ice storm. But water flow and water quality are still the most pressing problems about a month later. Uh, you know, are, are just really a sewer issues. Some of them are meter issues. Uh, a lot of them are not on the mains. Uh, so they're going to go and verify those. But be honest with you, Scott, talking to some of our uh, water supervisors, there may be another 20 that's left. But hey, you know, we get breaks every day. So... That's really not anything new. So many moving parts in this water approval system process. The city taking 120 samples. They'll turn them over to the health department. The hope is to get two clear days of testing. If that is the case and the health department signs off, then the bull water advisory could be lifted, hopefully by some time Wednesday. But as you heard Dr. Williams say, there are a lot of moving parts still in this ongoing water crisis. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.